Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Bar Life here in Seven Days to Die. We are doing a little bit of work here. It's just past midnight, actually, from the previous episode. I managed to get basically all my stuff sorted. And, uh, and I wanted to get to work right away today on doing a little bit of base building because this is going to be kind of important. Kind of an important thing to have ready because tomorrow uh, is going to be day 28. It's going to be our last... Ooh, I'm hungry. Last day that we're going to have to do all of this fun jazz <laughs> uh, before the horde hits. And so I wanted to get some of this done. Now, I'm, what I'm working on right now is a ceiling to cause them to crouch down. I added a center support in here too because I guess I don't really care if they get a little gummed up there. Maybe I will. I'm not too sure. I just want to make sure that this doesn't collapse. But what we really got to do is, one, we got to get some food because uh, I'm a hungry, hungry person. And two, uh, we got to copy this uh, this shape, actually, that we have here at this uh, on the end of our existing horde base. Which, I mean, if this thing's not ready, I'm hoping it's ready before the horde hits, actually. I'm really kind of banking on it, actually. I got to inhale, like, an entire deer here. One second. Yeah, I'm hoping. I, I, I'm really hoping this is ready. Okay, so let's uh, let's see if we can't. Uh, can we reach this thing? Can we copy shape? Okay, there we go. Got it. Now we're gonna have to need to do probably advanced rotation. All right, and then let's go place this first block here to get the uh, crouching mechanism working. This whole thing, like I said, is just to make sure that I can actually hit the demolishers when they come at me, like that. Okay, that's what we want right there. All right, sweet. Now, now we need. I think it's the wedge tip. Actually, we might be able to just do this right here without going back and copying the shape. Uh, tip. What is this? Uh, is it this thing? It might be that thing. Let's do uh, advanced. Uh, let's actually copy rotation. There it is. Boom. Perfect. Look at that. Match. Ooh, came. It worked out perfectly. So yeah, something like that. Now I do need another one, probably right here. Actually, I think I need this exact shape right here. Let's uh, copy shape. Yep. Just like that. Bam. That's what I need. We're gonna go ahead and copy shape and we're gonna just fill this whole thing in and now this should support itself now because I have the center pillar in here as well but we're gonna fill this whole thing in all the way to the back here now while we're up here actually I got some wood on me right let's make some spikes so that way we can throw down some spikes up here deal with any of those pesky birds that might be flying our way there we go thinking that should probably take care of them they might get stuck up there but I'm not too worried about them um, I'll kill them in the morning because I don't see them getting through my defenses before uh, before morning, so that shape right there should cause them to crouch. I wouldn't mind doing a test run real quick. However, I do need to disable this one right here. This needs to come down. Okay, so I need to I need to break this apart. All right, we're gonna replace everything I just removed with just solid blocks. And what that should cause them to do is have to jump, jump to get up there. Now this last one right here, I do want to actually completely remove because. I have an idea for what I can do to activate and deactivate this entranceway. Because the stairs on the inside of the dead rooster, I'm going to disable completely. I think I repaired them after last Horde Night. Shouldn't have done that. Didn't, didn't need to do that. But um, I'm going to try to dis disable the stairs inside completely so that the only way to get up to the inside killing area is this staircase here along the back. But I have an idea, and it involves a powered hatch. Okay, that should make it impassable right there for the zombies to get into the base right there because they can't jump high enough. Now, if I had parkour skills, I could jump high enough. It's actually kind of a useful thing, but I don't, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I do want to test this, though. Like I said, I do need to... I can probably close this door to prevent them... Actually, the one I'm back to, to prevent them from going these directions. Close that, too. Wilson, excuse me. I think that's all I need to do to test this. Now, I do need to get someone's attention, so I need to go find a zombie. I mean, there, there's one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. All right, let's see if we can't get up here. See if he follows up up into this area. See, he can't get to us. He might come bash on the door, though, come to think of it. He's bashing on something. What are you bashing on? We got to put an end to this. You're trying to break in that door. Okay. Thank you. That's why we test these things. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to fill that up nice and solid. We're even going to concrete that thing. Oh, I don't have concrete on me, but we will concrete that thing. Just make sure that they don't see that as a viable path. Well, I guess if I am going to seal this place off, I could remove all the doors and just put a ladder in here that I can reach, but they can't. Like something right here. There we go. Okay, ladder is in place. I'm going to actually leave that as just frames, just in case something goes wrong and I need to remove that quickly. But that's how I'm going to get up here from now on. I am going to officially close the bar, people. This is coming down. 
Boy, that had a lot of durability. I could, could have probably just left that, to be honest. But let's seal that up, and we're concreting that bad bad boy, too. They're not getting through that way. In fact, uh, these things all need to be reinforced as well to at least this level to try to make sure that they don't come through this way either. All right, and let's take the back door out as well while we're doing this. Might as well, since I'm sealing up the entire bottom floor. This is going to be a much harder horde than what I faced before since uh, we are on survival's difficulty now. So I do not want to uh, shortcut anything here. I want to make sure that I am sealed up nice and tight in here. So now that does leave these stairs. However, um, let's actually repair that a little bit. Give that a little extra boost too. Um, these stairs I don't think are going to be much of an issue. In fact, I kind of want to keep them, come to think of it. If the bottom floor is completely sealed up, okay? And I have to divert back to this method here of, of doing this uh, this technique here to take down the zombies. And the zombies are coming up here, right? Okay, so that, that one's failed, and I've diverted back to this one. The zombies are going to come up here, and then they're going to get shot, and some of them are going to fall down and still be alive. And then they're going to be stuck down there if I don't offer them a way to actually get back up here. So I guess i got to leave it the way it is. Okay, but I told you that we were going to need to be using a powered hatch. Okay, so uh, powered... Powered vault hatch, I think, is what I need right here. This thing. Eee, okay, uh, what does it take? A lot of forged steel. Oh, does it take 56 forged steel? I need to start cooking up some steel. Bad. Can I make stacks of this stuff yet? Recipes. Can I do a stack of iron? I can. This gives you a ton of XP when you make it. And then you can break it down and make it again and again and again. It's actually good to do this when you... Oop, I'm swinging stuff for no reason. It's actually good when you uh, have everything else that you can do, because uh, I think I have a learning elixir here. I keep forgetting to use these before Horde Night. Tell you what, right now I'm gonna actually use this. This might be a little bit of a waste, okay? I get it, but I just keep forgetting I have them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna craft this thing, and let's see the XP that rolls in down here from just crafting this once. Bam, 23,400 for just doing that. And then you can go ahead and open it, and then you can just craft it again. Now, you're not gonna get 23,000 XP. You're gonna get a little less when you do this, but dang, that's uh, that's pretty efficient XP farming right there. 11,000, boom, no problem. The reason why I drank the learning elixir, you get 20% XP when you do that. 7,000, that's just like killing a couple of zombies. Now, ideally, like I said, it would be good to actually do this when you have uh, a whole bunch of this stuff that you can actually craft into stacks. I don't, unfortunately, but whatever, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain, I'm just going to take the free XP while it's here. Well, we're milking the XP farm here. Uh, I did actually manage to get the tier 5 SMG done. Now, how much, it's, uh, sometimes these things can actually be uh, better. Um, than, than uh, the one that you currently have. It's just kind of like a roll of the dice. So what does this do? This does range damage of 50.7 with uh, 32 rounds in the magazine. This does 50.7 as well. Oh no, this does uh, 52.6 with a smaller magazine size, but that's okay. It does more damage, so we'll stick with that one right now. In fact, that's fine because this other one I plan on using for the high-powered ammunition. Or the, the uh, armor-piercing ammunition, anyway. So I don't really need it to have uh, more damage. I just need to have more bullets in it. So let's go ahead and uh, and reload this thing with the AP ammo. There we go. And I also... Didn't I have... Don't I have a dye or something like that to, uh, to change this color? Or no, I had it on something else, didn't I? Let's take, uh, let's take the black dye off of the, uh, t of the... Or the purple dye off the tack boy here. What we're going to do is we're going to squirt that right onto this SMG. Now, I also do need to put some mods on this bad boy, too. Let's do the extended mag for sure. The cripple mod. Uh, that might be a good thing, too. I think I can put three mods on this thing. And then some kind of scope, like a times two scope would be good. All right, so now I should be able to reload that thing and have ammo in there ready to go. I'm going to stash that in here. You're my secret weapon for whenever I, I really need an extra hand against these berserkers. <laughs> See if I can't get someone's attention. See if I, I've done this correctly. There's Lieutenant Dan right there. He's not going to test much, so I'm just going to take him out. That was a heck of a shot. Boy, I'm going to be really depressed if I can't get them to actually track me up here. There, it's attack. Uh, zombies attacking something. Not good. Not good. They're attacking the side of the wall. Interesting. What happens if I upgraded that side of that wall? You still want to attack it then? Let's, uh, let's see if that changes her mind. She's attacking something again. Ugh, am I going to have to fortify the entire base of this thing? It's either that or maybe it's because they're trying to get to these stairs. I bet you that's what it is. It's easier to bust this wall to get to these stairs then. 
So if I remove those stairs, I wonder if that'll change their mind. Okay, miss, you gotta go. You're not helping. I mean, you are helping, but you're not helping. So I gotta get ready. <laughs> All right, these stairs are going. I'll deal with the zombies that drop down here then on their own. Okay, so finally broke through all of that there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be spending this much time, especially during the day, doing this if it weren't for the fact that tomorrow is the Horde Night. So we're going to seal that up. We're going to concrete that up, actually. You're not getting up that way, zombies. Okay, so that's not happening. So now that you know that, is there any other way? Because they try to go elevation first. They try to get to you. Well, they're supposed to, anyway. Like, hey, you want to get away from that wall there? All right, so he's away from the wall now. Can I get him to try and come up to me? by taking the way he's supposed to go. He's walking. Oh, he's walking. Oh, he is walking that way. I think that was it. It was the stairs on the inside. It was a much more viable option for them to bust through the wall downstairs and take the easy stairs up to get to my old killing area. So by now that I've destroyed those things, now he has no problem coming this way. Thanks, buddy. You've been such a great person. Thank you for your service. Okay, so that does tell me one thing. That tells me that this thing actually works. At least on that one zombie. So, good. Hopefully it holds up during the horde. Boy, if it doesn't, I could be in some real trouble. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta reinforce some things, though, because Cobble is not gonna hold back this. This is, like I said, it's on, it's on survivalist. So, this is gonna be significantly harder to do. Uh, I think concrete actually weighs a little bit more, too, so what I wanna do is actually... Uh, Let's grab, uh, let's grab these things here, and turn these around the other way, and let's slap them down on the side, and we're going to hop up here, and we're going to actually reinforce the ones connecting to the wall, <laughs> because concrete, I believe, weighs more, and it can hold more, so um, I think it would be a good idea for us to upgrade this before we upgrade the stuff just in front. So that's, that's good and reinforced now. I do want to make sure this is too, and I also want to make sure that that front ramp is made out of steel. I need to get steel making. I was gonna do that earlier and I completely forgot. Okay, I do have some already cooked up, thankfully, so I can grab that at least. Do I have enough to make the uh, 50, ooh, do I have enough to make the uh, the powered uh, hatch that I wanted to do? Vault hatch, what is this, 56, ooh, I almost do. Okay, now the reason why I wanna do this is I wanna set up a battery bank in here. This whole episode is probably gonna be about home improvement so that uh, I can get ready for this. I wanna set up a battery bank in here with the switch up here, and what the switch does is it raises that vault hatch. So, Actually, I can probably show you this with a with a uh, regular wooden hatch first. So over here, okay, over here on this bottom one here, I'm thinking let's do a little bit of uh, on face. Yeah, just like that. Oh boy, this, okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to remember that. On face works perfectly because I'm not sure I'm gonna know which way the hatch goes normally. So like that, okay? Now, I don't believe, ooh, they can actually hop up on here. Or I can, I don't know if they see it as a viable option. But basically, when I flick the switch, I want it to go like that. And what that does is it gives them that step to get up here. So like I said, if I end up running into a situation, this is kind of beat up here. If I run into a situation where, uh, that's probably from me from the shotgun actually, <laughs> where uh, my base fails, okay? I can at least start up a secondary base right here. Now I don't actually need this wooden hatch here, but that's the ma madness behind, uh, or method behind my madness here. I'm gonna put the vault hatch there and have them gain a step so that they can actually get up here. Is that going to work? I think it might. Okay, but I gotta do some upgrading here, of course, too. I need these bases to at least be concrete, because I need them to be able to withstand some of the abuse from the zombies. Um, at least the core parts of it, you know, like this right here for sure. At least these first few few uh, bottom parts here, because I do not want this collapsing. Now, the steps leading up here are gonna be especially important, so we're gonna concrete those. Might even steal those, because I do not want the steps breaking. That's why I doubled them up, actually, so that there's two. If they break one, at least I still have a chance. <laughs> Okay, and then like this whole stretch right here needs to be concrete as well for sure, including the whole walkway leading across there. And because the zombies are going to be up in this area and I don't want them breaking the support, nor do I want myself shooting it and blowing it up, <laughs> I do need to make sure this support is concrete as well all the way up. This is going to take a lot of concrete, but this is hopefully going to be the base that I use for taking on the horde when we get to insane difficulty too. So I'm kind of investing all my chips into this one. Hopefully it works, man. If this doesn't work, I am screwed. Ran out of my first stack of concrete. Kind of saw that coming, though. I figured that was going to happen. How are we doing on the steel making process? How? Okay, we got some here. Let's get this powered hatch working if I uh, if I can even. Let's grab all the steel here. What else do we need to make this happen? 
Springs, mechanical parts, and electrical parts. What do I got for that? Electrical parts, mechanical parts, and springs. Let's get this craft in here on the workbench. Powered vault hatch. Let's craft that. Boy, I sure hope that was worth it. Because that's a lot of steel. And I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more steel because I gotta upgrade things too, so let's just keep this uh, crafting. Okay, so I, I am going to be running short on steel then, so that's definitely something I want to make sure that I pay a little bit of attention to in the next day or so, uh, because I do need to upgrade this stuff to steel. Like, the part in front of me, for example, is one thing I really want to upgrade to steel, as well as this ramp. If this ramp fails, I'm going to be in deep trouble. I guess... Well, I might be in deep trouble because they might start seeing it as a, a different option, because then it becomes a blockade. They can't actually crouch down, maybe. So I want to make sure that they see that as a viable path to go. And then, oh boy, <laughs> I don't want to screw that up. <laughs> All right, so I do have 20 steel. This ramp definitely needs to be steel. So let's get that going there. And I'm going to need to go grab more to upgrade this last block here. That part needs to be steel for sure, because it needs to be able to uh, take some abuse should the zombies start swinging. Also, I'm going to need some steel for up here in the front. It makes me wonder if maybe I should just abandon my backup plan. Is it too late to abandon my backup plan? I'm going to abandon my backup plan, okay? For right now. If... Yeah, I'm just going to throw all this stuff down here. If it turns out that this becomes a viable option, I'll do it. But for right now, I kind of need the steel. All right, last one we're going to update in the front here is that for sure. And now, the rest of this, I think, can remain concrete. They don't really do much damage to the bridge. If anything, I do more damage to it than they do. These stairs, however, are going to be pretty crucial to stay alive. One, two, three, four, five of them. And I only have enough to turn those all to steel. Okay, so I can turn the stairs to steel. I mean, I'm cooking up more, but it's, it's taking a little bit. Uh, but I also need to make sure that this is steel in front of me, I think. That's the other thing. If I turn that to steel, is it going to be more viable for them to somehow bash their way through this? I don't know. I should probably turn at least the first two layers of this entire ground floor into concrete. Boy, I got to go collect more resources if I try to do that, though. We're already at noon. <laughs> noon, boy. That's going to be uh, that's a thing, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's upgrade the rest of this pillar at least, so that we can um, we can make sure that this stays supported. Uh, that should remain supported for the most part, I think, as long as they don't destroy this. Ooh, a sandstorm's rolling. As long as they don't destroy this, I think that should be fine. Which I think I can probably get to them from there. I kind of want to add like a hatch over here so I can climb out onto this awning here and throw molotovs down on them if I need to. Wouldn't be a bad idea. But we're already at noon. I've done a lot of base building this episode so far, and I kind of want to go kill some zombies. So while we're cooking up a bunch of steel, perhaps I'll do that, and tomorrow I'll finish the upgrades to the base. Like I said, I don't know if I want to steel upgrade this, because I'm going to need steel to repair it, and I also need them to see this as the weakest point to get to me. You know what? I'll worry about that when the time comes. I will, um, I will upgrade it now. There we go. I'll upgrade that now, and then I'll test it in a little bit. <laughs> We're going to go do knock out some quests. I don't want to be staying, sitting in here all day working on base building. All right, so we did have a quest for Joel here right next to us. And instead of grabbing at the end of the night, I think I'm going to go snag it real quick here at the beginning of the day. See if I can't weasel my way back here. Do, do a favor for Joel. Maybe pick up another one right away. I'm, I am trying to level him up, actually, just because I think it would be handy to have tier 3 quests here in town. Uh, what is this place? Oh, there is a there's a guest here. Hello, buddy. Oh, there's a dog right there. Give me your meat. All right, let's uh, whip out the tack boy here. Oh, hi, hi there, uh, lady. You mind uh, falling over? Thanks. All right, let's go ahead and start this quest up. Any uh, pistol peep books in here? Wouldn't that be fun if I could just find one right here in the mailboxes? Wouldn't it be fun if I could find anything other than paper? Nope, never mind. All right, let's get in here. Who's all home? This is just a uh, supply run, a White River run supply, so I guess I don't really need to clear the area. I just need to get the supplies, but I do need to get in here. Oh, jeez, that guy scared me so bad. Ow! Oh, that jumper. Take him out. Now, my my attack boy does not do as much damage as my SMG. I got to remember that. It's also not fully automatic, so I got to actually spam the button. But I got to keep that in mind so that I don't just think it's the same thing as the SMG. That could get me killed. How do I get upstairs? Oh, go on, wait, right here. Any dog? This looks like a place where it could be a dog. Could be a place with a bird, too. I see a bird's nest. There it is. Got it. I was expecting it that time. Ha-ha! Oh. 
Okay, hold on, something just broke right there. Okay, look at that, I just stood on it and broke it. There, we got our stuff. I guess I don't really need to clear out the rest of this place, but curiosity, ooh, there is definitely a dog here. I take it I have to jump down. Curiosity has got the better of me here. Excuse me, Kenny. I need you to get rid of you. So this is definitely gonna be a dog, and I don't mess with dogs, so we're switching to the SMG. Where is he? There he is. Any more? Is it just that one? Might have just been that one. All right, looks like this is the end part of the of the uh, POI anyway. Let's wake everyone up. All right, there's a there's a Brittany there. Oh, I hear a cop. I hear a cop going. Ooh. Okay. Still somebody left. Oh, I see his feet. <laughs> Blast us apart. Take him out. All right, there's somebody nearby that's a little upset that I did all that, but he's just going to have to deal with it. All right, don't suppose there's any, like, books in any of this. Well, there is actually a book. Look at that, but not the book I needed. How about a uh, how about a silencer mod, huh? This looks like a Shaka Messiah area. It is a... It is, they are gun store boxes. Uh, silencer, maybe? Nope, no silencer. Okay, well, then let's get on out of here. Quest complete. That one was actually pretty simple. I mean, it was only a tier two. So let's go turn this one in, grab another one, and then what we're going to do is head off to Jen and see if we can't uh, satisfy her in her merchandising ways. New day, though, Joel. I need to check your vending machine. Anything good? No. Okay, no problem. I understand. Joel, I did a thing. It must be. Uh, what do you got? Art of mining, not what I'm looking for. Do you have a pistol pizza book? There's a tier three robotic sledge. I'll take that. I think I have one, but I'm not too sure. And the iron sledge sells for a little bit of money. Uh, art of mining I already have. Let's just take the antibiotics in case I need them. Uh, do you have any jobs? Let's do a clear zombies, maybe? Let's do a clear zombies. Yeah. Actually, this fetch is really close. Like, less than 100 meters. Yeah, that's 100 meters away. Okay, I was gonna just go off to Jen right away. Ooh, man, we're gonna be pushing it for uh, completing a quest for Jen, though, on this one. This is just a... Oh, this is a Clear Zombies. It's the hardware store. Maybe I'll just stick close to home home today. Like I said, time is kind of a thing, isn't it? So uh, I wouldn't mind grabbing your <laughs> grabbing your wood because uh, I'm kind of running a little low on that, and this is a good supply of it. So this is actually a smaller hardware store, though. Wake up, everyone. That's a weird-looking receptionist you got, or a weird-looking clerk that you have working here. Spine's hanging out of his back. I'm gonna feel bad if he has some kind of like disability, but oh, cheapers! Oh, wow! Oh, where? Where would that cop? Where's the cop? You, I need you to go away. Are you back here? Yeah, there you are. I did not know there was a cop there. Wake up, everybody! There's a ton of building supplies here too. So I mean, if I wanted to grab some more stuff for building, it's right here. I am actually running a little low on cobble come to think of it so why don't I actually get this thing equipped here and maybe dig up some of these cobble uh, spots here uh, I have a lot of concrete powder it's mainly sand I'm missing to uh, actually it's sand and rock so I'm gonna definitely dig up these stones as well yeah I'm not gonna be able to get to Jen tonight uh, or today for sure I'm gonna just stay close to home we're just doing uh, we're being the uh, friendly neighborhood uh, zombie slayer today yo did you not just hear me I am the friendly neighborhood zombie slayer all right, there's a lot of chances here to find a toilet pistol. What do you think the odds are that I can actually get one? Hey, odds are dwindling. Not looking good. Nope, didn't get one this time. Dang it. Hey, toilet pistol. There's actually one here. How about that? Scrap it immediately. I'll just take the parts. They do exist. How about that, Wilson? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. There's no way I killed everybody here. Master, we are not alone. Oh, that's a dog. She scared me. Scared me. I jumped there. I jumped, legitimately jumped there. Ooh. <laughs> that spider zombie was beating the crap out of that car and it blew up in his face. <laughs> okay, there is actually a vending machine here too, which is kind of cool. There's nothing in it that I need. Is this a vending machine that I have marked? It is not. Let's actually, this is in my hometown too. What have I, ooh, let, me, uh, let me press right buttons here. What have I been doing with my life here? Uh, save waypoint. Uh, let's do vend. There we go. Bam. Ooh, there's a way over there. Where is this uh, stash? Or where's my where's my thing I'm supposed to get here? I guess I have to go uh, back here to get around. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> 
Got it. All right, let's get out of here. I think in that uh, there is a main loot actually in here, but unless uh, unless I see any uh, crack book boxes in there, I'm not going to really be concerned. I think this is mainly just working stiff stuff. Yeah, working stiff, working stiff. That's all I see is working stiff. Yeah. Okay, I'm not really too concerned with that stuff in there. Crack book is what I was looking for mainly. Wouldn't mind actually getting a crack book quest. Joel, I did the thing. I did the thing you wanted. Do I have my fun Sunday finest on? I certainly do. What do you got? Ooh, a hunting rifle. I'm not using that at all. Okay, let's take the ammo. And what else sells for the most? Probably the hunting rifle, I'm thinking. These all sell for the same exact price. How about that? All right, let's take the hunting rifle. Uh, let's sell that immediately back to you because I do not need that. Hopefully, you, uh, I'm close to unlocking your next tier. Uh, let me check your jobs again real quick. Let's do another... Uh, let's, do, uh, let's do a clear zombies. Old, uh, let's see, old ranch house? Sure, we'll do that. We'll save the fetch for, like, if we're trying to quickly get one done. But for right now, the old ranch house, we got a little bit of time. We can absolutely get there and do that. Oh, it's this place. Oh, I've done this before. I think. Earlier on, I think I did this one. Let's reload this, make sure we're all good to go on ammo. It would be foolish to get caught without our, our guns reloaded. All right, let's go in and get, and get this done. Now, I believe there are, yeah, there's some, uh, there's some... Uh, cobble spots here, which I wouldn't mind collecting since I am kind of running a little low on that anyone home Yep, well there was somebody home anyone home back here Dog I don't mess around with dogs Have one bad experience and dogs frighten you so these uh these uh, vending machines actually do give steel, which is kind of the thing I'm short on. So I'm thinking I'm just going to break this down because I could use the extra steel. There we go. How much did we get out of that? Six extra pieces? Hey, it's better than a slap in the face. All right, <laughs> bookshelf, don't let me down now. You let me down, bookshelf. You let me down real good. Wilson, I am just chocked full of supplies here that I don't want to carry. Could you, like, hold on to all this junk that I don't want to hold on to? Thanks. Alright, we're going inside. There should be someone dropping out of the ceiling, I think. There they are. Big old large Marge. Oh, she's bending over. She's like, shoot me in the butt. I dare you. There we go. Let's put her out of her misery. Come on, bookcases. We're looking for pistol. Oh, that's something I don't know. Insulated mod schematic. Pistol. Nope. Dang it. All right, there's still some bookcases in here. We could absolutely get a Pistol Pete book out of one of these things. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be? Ooh, Cripple a Mod schematic isn't bad. So I am finding stuff I don't know, but I just need... I'm finding things I do know, too. I just need Pistol Pete. Oh, well, there's something I don't know also. Barbed wire schematic. And, oh, well, I can't I can't complain. It was it was stuff I didn't know. The game knew I was, I was needing it, and so it, it gave it to me, kind of. Book pile, pistol Pete, machete schematic. I mean, that's a good schematic to find. That's just not the one I wanted. This is definitely a hoarder's house. So, like, when you look at it, like, there isn't a collapsed ceiling in here. It's not like this is the rubble is from the the building collapsing. This is just junk inside the house. <laughs> this is literally a hoarder's house. My sensors have picked up something. Yeah, my sensors have picked up something too. And in your face. Let's see. Let's see if I can't bust this open. I'm still looking for. A silencer mod and I'm thinking I could probably find one in one of these things the crickets are chirping so we're kind of running out of time but I think I can find one. if I do this quickly I can probably get this one done dang it I was hoping I would unlock I can probably get this one done and then get the fetch quest for Joel as well and get that done too. hopefully unlock his next set of quests pretty soon because I have been occasionally doing quests for him and today was all about Joel so hopefully he appreciates that all right, we're going to put the looter goggles on and everything. What do we got in here? Oh, a rad remover. That's actually pretty good. I might throw that on my extra SMG, to be honest, because that's a really good thing to have. All right, wake up, everyone. Get up. I'm not right there. All right, talk to Trader. But first, I'm going to open up all these things. There's some shotgun messiah books, or, uh, cases in here, too, so they could absolutely have a silencer mod on them as well, especially when I get to insane difficulty, assuming I survive tomorrow. And once I get to insane difficulty, uh, having the silencer mod could be really handy. Dang it, I did not get it out of any of those. Lucky looter volume in there that I already know. That's not exactly what I want. Let's get rid of the animal fat, get rid of the bones, take the rest of that stuff. 
There are bookcases in our bookshelf, or book piles. No, I was hoping, that, I was hoping last ditch effort that I would actually get a Pistol Pete book. Oh well, all right, that is everything. Let's go talk to Trader and uh, stash whatever inventory we have as well. Excuse me, chicken. Joel, I did the thing. I did the thing you wanted, but my inventory is completely full, so I don't even care what you're gonna give me. Let's make sure my glasses are on. Yep, I don't really care about that right now. Hold on one second. I need to sell you some stuff. All right, Joel, what are you giving me now? All right, batter up volume, I already know. Don't need any of this. I'll take the first aid kits, could come in handy. And what sells for the most? The crossbow, all right. Oh, there it is, all right, sweet. Lock picks, that's really, uh, <laughs> range mods bundle. That could have the um, the silencer in it. And then let's take the 50 lock picks, of course. Got any special jobs? Trade routes two through. Trader Joel to the north, except, do I know a Trader Joel to the north? I do not, that's a new one. Okay, let's uh, save waypoint. Uh, trader, uh, let's just let's just go with uh, Joel. All right, how much time is left? Ooh, ooh, let's, wait, I'm, I'm going, I'm going really fast. I wanna see if I can get up there before he closes, because then my tier threes will be unlocked uh, tomorrow. They'll be unlocked tomorrow. I got so excited, I didn't even grab an extra quest from Joel there, but I guess I don't really care. I got the tier threes unlocked. If I can get there, that means tomorrow, before we get into insane difficulty, I can actually do some quests for him here in town. Ooh, yeah, I gotta get there quick. I only got an hour and a half before they close. He might also have Pistol Pete books. Go, go, motorcycle, fly. This is actually a new town. Oh, hey, there's a Grumpy's Pub. This is, <laughs> this is actually a new town. Completely unexplored area here. I should have been doing quests for Joel more often. He would have led me here earlier, and I could have checked this guy for anything that he might have. His stock resets tomorrow, too. So I really got to get there and check for a Pistol Pete book, like, quickly. Joel. Joel. The other Joel sent me. Uh, vending machine super fast. What do you got? Nothing. Got it. Okay. Yeah, Joel. The other Joel sent me. I'm not even going to check your, like, uh, your workbench and your whatever. I'm not, I'm not, oh, you don't have anything in there either. Okay. All right. Let's just talk to you. Got it. All right. Let's see your inventory real fast. I don't think I have anything to sell you. Do you have any Pistol Pete books? I can't believe I got here. I found one more trade right before the end. No books there. What do you got in here? Pistol Pete? Pistol Pete? You do have one Pistol Pete book, but it's not the right one I'm looking for. Oh, I was so excited. Do you have a silencer mod by any chance? No. You don't, do you have anything? Okay, so this was kind of a bust. He doesn't have anything. There's always sham uh, to he already has his tier three unlocked though. That's kind of nifty. This whole place is a new place. Kind of cool stuff. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to quickly run back and grab a quest. Oh, that guy's running. That guy's a runner. Okay, so there's some runners out here. He must have followed me all the way from when I cut through the town. But I wouldn't mind actually getting back and grabbing another quest if I can from, uh, from the other Joel. Well, no, I guess I don't really need one. I don't really need one from him. I think tomorrow morning is going to be another base building situation where I actually focus on um, making sure that the base actually works properly. I mean, before we run back, since I'm not trying to get back to grab a quest, I wouldn't mind actually seeing if there's a crack book right there. That's what I'm looking for. That's I was looking for a little crack book thing. Excuse me, good sir. I need to see if there's a crack book in here. All right, well, I need to see if there is a pistol peep in here. Anything? There is a Night Stalker book I don't know yet, which is kind of blows my mind, because I think that's one of the earlier ones. I just missed with most of the bullets right there. Uh, yeah, I, how did I not know this? Let's, uh, what is this? Uh, Meld in the Shadows and Sneak 5% better at night. Okay, let's use that. Wasn't the last one I needed either. Okay. Come on, Pistol Pete. Lucky Looter. I mean, that's not a bad thing to find, but I already have that series complete. Don't need that at all. I think I have some guests coming in here. Excuse me, Brittany. Do you mind? Ooh, she's down for the count with one headshot. I like that. Come on, Pistol Pete. There's a uh, burst mod schematic. Okay, that's, I mean, I didn't know it, so that's good. That, I already know that. That's not as good. I already know that, too. Oh, is that a, is that it? I hear another person wandering around. Grandpa's Moonshine. I'll take that for sure. Who's making this racket? Excuse me, sir. I've got a pretty good feeling about it. He's, he's dead. Are there any boxes or anything in here? Like, crack book boxes? I don't think so. But I can grab the cobble. Who's making this noise? Kenny! How you doing, buddy? You can get to the roof, though. Oh, there's a crack book box on the roof. That's good to know. Well, let's uh, let's open that up and pray that we <laughs> that we get a pistol peep book. Volume six. Hey, chili dog recipe. 
Not what I need. There is totally a bird that just flew by my head, though. Shooting it did alert all the Kennys in the area, though. Oh, I just shot him in the balls. He's definitely dead. My senses have picked up something. Yeah, my senses have picked up something, too. There's a bunch of zombies down there. Okay, is there another crack book in this town, though? Wouldn't that be nice? I don't think there is. That's a shame. I was, I was really excited when I first saw this one. I thought for sure we were going to get the Pistol Pete book. But alas, it was not meant to be. All right, let's let's uh, let's grab some gas. Let's grab some stones. And let's, uh, let's get on out of here. If I remember correctly, that appliance store did have some shotgun messiah things in it. Some guy just fell out the door, door back here, too, so he opened it up for me, which is nice of him. And if I just go in here, I should be able to get them really easily. However, there is that thing right there waiting for me. Any other dogs back here? I really don't feel like getting chomped up by a dog. There's also stone piles which I can collect because I need these to make more sand and more concrete and stuff. As well as the cobblestone piles here too, which is good to grab. This is a new town. I'm having fun because I just found <laughs> I just found a new town. And I spent this whole morning just building and it's kind of nice to get out of the house. Alright, but there are going to be some baddies in here I know, so let's wake them up. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, that's a cop. There's another cop. Shoot the cops through the Britneys. There's another cop back there. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, I definitely woke up a few people in the area. Let's do this quick. All right, so there should be uh, yeah, a crack -a book box. Oh, a crack -a book box. I thought this was going to be Shaka Messiah, but I'll take it. Dang it, not what I wanted. Come on, Pistol Pete. Where's the Pistol Pete books? Total bust. Let's get out of here. Now, I'm expecting a relatively uneventful ride home. So I'm just going to head on home, you guys. I got a lot of inventory to sort through. Today has been kind of an interesting day. Building, staying close home. Unlock Joel's Tier 3 quest, which is nice for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I guess I'll probably grab one of those quests. Try to perfect the base to make sure that it's actually working correctly. Because, boy, that could be a problem if it's not. I put all my chips on this thing. In reality, I probably should have stuck with the one that I knew worked for sure. Just upgraded it to steel. I guess once I get back to base, I can see if there's a zombie in the area that I can test it. There's a big fat guy right here I can probably test it with, but he's going to have to run 100 meters, and that's going to take a while. Anyone home? Anyone in the area? I don't actually see anyone on my initial glance. Nope. Big fat guy might have been my only hope to test this thing. Uh, I could go try to lure him. I could try to lure him over here. Fat guy, where are you? Actually, are there any... Are there any zombies in this thing? There's a Lieutenant Dan in there. Was a lieutenant Dan in there? Ooh, there's a big fat. Oh, there's a nurse. Okay, there's here comes some zombies. So I'm talking about fat guy and a, and a nurse. That's fine. I'll take those. Those, those will work as an excellent test. Oh, they lost me. I outran them. Go me, nurse lady. Mind uh? It looks like that whole place just collapsed my over there too. Have up yeah, my sensors too. Oh, she's already doing it. That's a good sign. And I already have the steeled up too. Where's the big fat guy? That guy's just... Let's get his attention again. That's a really good test because the fat guy wasn't tracking me at all. And now he is. Okay, that's a really good sign. I, that makes me very happy to see. Whew. Okay, so just upgrading this is going to be the next thing. I do have to get more steel going because I see the forge isn't running right now. But we're going to upgrade as much of this to steel as we can, especially like the steps. Take him out too. That was a successful test. Alrighty, guys, we're back here at the bar, so I think what I'm going to do is wrap this episode up. Thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to smash that like button before you go. I would really appreciate it, and so would the YouTube algorithm. So, <laughs> uh, But I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back next week where we take on the Day 28 Horde, and if we survive, we're bumping it up to insane difficulty. Ooh. Ooh. Just saying that hurts my soul because I don't... I don't I, it, it makes me nervous. So, alrighty, guys, I will see you guys next week. Have yourself a good week. Say bye-bye, Wilson. Bye-bye.